So you've got a Tesla Powerwall 2 already and you're in a bit of a conundrum. Powerwall 3 is just about to reach the UK, but I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get another Powerwall 2 later if I need one. What should I do? Should I buy another Tesla Powerwall 2 now to make sure that I get one before they stop manufacturing them and they're all sold out? Or do I wait and hope that eventually Tesla will integrate the Powerwall 2 and Powerwall 3 together? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk through all of my thoughts with you. Hopefully it will help you to make a better buying decision whether you are looking to get another Tesla Powerwall 2 at the moment or you're thinking about getting a Powerwall 3. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below and let's get into it. So Tesla announced a couple of months ago that the Powerwall 3 is finally coming to the UK. In fact, it took us a little bit by surprise because I was expecting it to come late this year or early next year in terms of a, an announcement. But they announced it at Intersolar in Munich and I was there at the event for the launch. It was very exciting and I got to put my hands on the Tesla Powerwall 3 product. I got to talk through with some of the Tesla guys the features of the product, how it's going to be installed. And we've recently done the Tesla Powerwall 3 training as a team as well. So we're fully qualified to install Powerwall 3s and ready to go for when they start landing in the UK. However, they are quickly selling out. So Powerwall 3s now are expected to be available in November. We've already secured some units for October and we have some installed lined up for then but we're now telling customers it's gonna be November, potentially December before we can install your Powerwall 3 if you place an order now, because it seems they're selling like hotcakes. But you might think, but I've got a Tesla Powerwall 2 already. So if I want more battery capacity in the future, should I get a Powerwall 2 now and add it onto my existing Powerwall 2 system? Or should I get a Powerwall 3? Will the Powerwall 3 integrate with the Powerwall 2? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about in this video. So as it currently stands, Tesla is saying that the Powerwall 2 and Powerwall 3 will not talk to each other. So if you have a Powerwall 2 now, you cannot just add a Powerwall 3 and then expect them to work with each other. They won't. It's like two separate systems, two walled gardens, so to speak. So if you've got a Powerwall 2 and you want more battery capacity, you really need another Powerwall 2. And you might have seen in a recent video where we had a customer who had one Powerwall 2 already and we stacked another two on top of his current install to give him a whopping amount of battery storage capacity. And he's really enjoying and using that system to the full now. Now, if you've already got a Powerwall 2, the chances are that you've already got solar PV anyway, which means that the Powerwall 3 would be of no use to you whatsoever in terms of the fact that it's got a built-in solar inverter, because you've already got your solar inverter. You don't need a Powerwall with a solar inverter built into it. Therefore, or why would you want a Powerwall 3 anyway when you could buy a slightly less expensive Powerwall 2 and have the same capacity and the same features basically. Now the only difference other than the inverter built in with the Powerwall 3 is that it does have a higher output rating. But if you've already got one Powerwall 2 and you want to add a second one, you will then go from five kilowatts of potential discharge to 10 kilowatts of potential discharge. So you double your discharge rate anyway, which means you can cover more of those high use loads in the house, like maybe an electric shower, an induction hob, things like that with two Powerwall 2s. The, the capacity of the Powerwall 2 and the 3 is the same. It's 13 and a half kilowatt hours. And the battery quality of these products is both excellent. The warranty is the same. So there's no reason for a person with a Powerwall 2 to really go for a Powerwall 3 unless they just have it in their mind that they want the 3 because that's the latest thing on Tesla's lineup. The other advantage of the Powerwall 2 versus the 3 is that the 3 can currently only support up to four units together. So you're limited in your storage capacity, whereas the Powerwall 2 can support up to 10 units connected together, which means you've got the potential to have 135 kilowatt hours of battery storage with 10 Tesla Powerwall 2 units all connected 
together in one system. So actually, if you are a user that needs a lot more storage capacity for whatever reason, and you've already got a Powerwall 2, the Powerwall 2 system gives you that more expandable system that could be quite important for you. So if you're thinking you need more battery capacity, is now the time to order another Powerwall 2? Will they be available for much longer or will they disappear and your chance to get more battery capacity be destroyed? Well, that's what I thought would be important to address in this video. So let's think about it logically, right? Now, I have a little bit of information from, from Tesla, which I'll talk to you about later, but logically, what might Tesla be thinking? Powerwall 2 is a legacy product. It's been out for quite a long time and they really wanna push the Powerwall 3 now. So in countries where Powerwall 3 is launched, would it make sense for them to continue selling Powerwall 2? In my opinion, probably not. What they will do, I think, is start to reallocate stock of Powerwall 2 that's left over, because I guess they're not manufacturing them anymore, to countries where the Powerwall 3 has not been launched yet, because for example, the electrical systems there need, you know, figuring out in order to make sure that the Powerwall 3 can be approved to install in those markets. So for example, I know for a fact that Powerwall 2 is uh, something like in places like Spain and other parts of Europe that they are still selling and still recommending, whereas now in the UK, it's really all about Powerwall 3. So if next year you suddenly decide that you want a, another Powerwall 2, what's gonna happen? Will they be available? Well, we don't know for sure, and I can't really answer that question other than saying what I heard when I was at the Tesla event is that they are planning to reallocate that stock to the other countries where they're still selling Powerwall 2 as their main product, and therefore Powerwall 2 will not be available for much longer in the UK. Now I've done a bit of digging around on the internet and I found many sources claiming that Tesla are going to be phasing out the Powerwall 2 completely in the markets where they're rolling out the Powerwall 3, which certainly applies to the UK. I imagine that there will be a bit of a crossover period as the Powerwall 3s land and the Powerwall 2s sell out of stock in the various suppliers. But ultimately, it's very unlikely that the Powerwall 2 will be available for much longer than the end of 20. 2024 or the beginning of 2025 here in the UK. Now that raises an important point. So there is available stock now at the moment. However, how much longer will that be available for? We don't know. So what I'm recommending to my customers is that if you've got a Powerwall 2 and you want another one, or you think you might want another one soon, get in touch because before the end of the year, we can definitely get another Powerwall 2 installed for you. We've got some stock allocated and we'll be able to do those installs for you. Now, you need to work out whether you need that extra capacity or not based on your usage. How can you do that? Well, a simple way is to look at your battery use curve within the Tesla app and see how quickly is your battery depleting? Are you using it all and then pulling from the grid again after a certain amount of time overnight if you're charging it purely from solar only? Or are you still left with quite a large percentage of storage left in the morning? In which case you probably don't need more battery capacity because what will happen is you see you get to like 30% then the sun rises, you start charging the battery from solar again, it gets full and then it gets depleted again and so on. Now the thing is with most people who've got power walls, in winter, you're probably not gonna be fully charging it from your solar only. You're gonna be wanting to charge it up on the cheap electricity overnight, for example. And that's where having multiple power walls can come into its own because what you can do is take all of your house usage during the day and basically level down the cost by charging the batteries up overnight on the cheap electricity and therefore you're paying say seven and a half p per kilowatt hour rather than the 25 30 p per kilowatt hour that you might be paying during the day so that's something to consider where if you've got solar but it's not enough to fully charge your batteries during winter you might want to add some extra capacity and leverage the batteries to reduce your overall cost per kilowatt hour 
Now, we can do some cost calculations for you to work out that payback if you can't figure it out yourself. But either way, I just thought I'd put this out there for those of you who are probably wondering about this situation right now. I know that there'll be quite a few of you. We have had customers who've reached out to us already about this. So let me know all of your thoughts in the comments below. Are there any other things that you need to consider? And if you do want a quote from us, there's a link below where you can get a quote. We'll do a little survey with you online and we'll gather pictures and videos of your existing Powerwall setup so that we can quickly and easily produce a bespoke quote for you to add that extra Powerwall to your existing system if you so wish. And of course, if you want a Powerwall 3, maybe you don't have a Powerwall 2 at all at the moment, but you want a Powerwall 3, get in touch with us. But as I said, at the moment, Tesla are saying Powerwall 2 and Powerwall 3 are not going to talk to each other, which is why it's an important time to be thinking about the future and working out if you might need some more capacity. Either way, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, grab a cup of tea and settle in to watch this video up here where we stacked two more Powerwalls onto an existing Powerwall 2 system, or this one here where we did a brand new Powerwall 2 installation from scratch.